besties and welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to give you guys a bit of a lowdown on what happened during my first trimester with baby surprise. To be completely honest, I wasn't sure how to do this video or whether or not I should do it because I feel like I was just sleeping through my whole trimester. It feels like a memory is so far away already. It's weird. It wasn't that far away. Anyway, after deliberating about it and thinking about it and trying to figure out whether or not I should do it, I decided I should go ahead and do it anyway, purely because I want to document this pregnancy as unplanned as it was. I think it still deserves some sort of space on this channel. First trimester for me, three pregnancies later, has never been very exciting at all. It has always been miserable, exhausting, and just all the other not so fun things so i'm gonna try and backdate it a little bit so that i can tell you guys as much as i remember i don't remember the dates to be like exact i don't even know when this child was conceived i was supposed to get my period and i didn't i just had this feeling because my period is never late and i mean like never late i was like maybe tomorrow maybe tonight you know and that didn't happen and tomorrow came and tomorrow left and the day after tomorrow came and that also left and uh, I remember thinking, oh my God, there is no way in hell. There is no way. And so I started obsessing over when could it have happened? How could it have happened? What was I doing? How come I don't remember? And so I, I fixated on trying to figure out whether I'm pregnant and how I got pregnant. I mean, even though I know how you get pregnant, but I was still like, I need to know. Just for that peace of mind, I don't know if anybody else is like that, but for me, just knowing when the baby was conceived, it kind of sort of puts things into perspective for me. But for the life of me, I could not figure it out. Eventually, I decided to go ahead and get a pregnancy test. And I went to go pee on the stick and that damn thing didn't even waste like 10 seconds and there was like a positive line. And basically my life changed forever. I literally laughed and I gave it to Dizzy and Dizzy was like, oh, that's great. Now we can vote as a family. And I was like, what, what do you mean? He's like, yeah, because now there's five people. So there's no longer a tie. And I was just like, are you actually kidding me right now? That's basically how I found out that I was pregnant and how I knew. I kind of confirmed it really late into the pregnancy because I was in denial for so long. And so when I did take that pregnancy test, I think a week or two later, I had my first doctor's appointment and we saw the heartbeat and everything. And I remember saying to my friend, friend, there is a heartbeat in everything. It's a baby. It is happening. Literally the next day after I took the test, my morning sickness hit and Dizzy was saying to me are you sure you got morning sickness or oh, it's just a mental thing and I remember wanting to punch him but I just smiled and I just let it go it hit me so bad it was so bad I was so tired and so hungry it was not even funny I used to drive from work get to Dizzy's workplace pick up the kids from school and literally just pass out in the car while he drove us home I would pass out in the car while we went to work in the morning it was just crazy I was so tired and I felt so bad because Dizzy had to do pretty much everything he had to take care of the kids he had to feed the kids keep them alive keep them clean and everything else in between while I just vegged out on this bed I ate so much I ate a lot during my first trimester I gained a whole eight kgs during my first trimester which was crazy but i was like i'm not gonna obsess over it the nice thing is i could keep food down which was really nice i had no vomiting whatsoever during my first trimester i didn't feel nauseous at all i was just tired i was really 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 tired just getting out of bed was a mission putting on makeup was a mission getting to work was a mission the funny thing is being at work was the only thing that kept me going if that makes sense i had to get up and get to work because otherwise i would have been here and i would have slipped myself into a deep depression from just thinking about how the heck did i get pregnant i used to eat like pap and spinach for breakfast like a whole meal i could not stand anything sweet i wanted something sour something spicy and definitely something salty which makes me wonder if this is gonna be another boy because this is basically what I craved when I was pregnant with peanut I had this acidic taste in my mouth my mouth didn't feel like mine man I needed to eat something salty all the time otherwise I just didn't feel like myself and I had so much saliva it drove me mental I hated it and I would burp so much so damn much I was like what is going on i used to cry myself to sleep i couldn't get myself to understand why i had to go through what i was going through 
when I didn't want any of it you know it's one of those like why am I feeling like this why is this happening to me I don't even want to get pregnant I don't even want to have another baby I did not plan this child why is this happening to me and I was very quick to slip into the victim mode and why is this happening to me mode and oh my god poor me and um, feeling sorry for myself and I would just cry during first trimester it was seriously rough it was not easy but i'm really grateful that i went past that and um i mean i gained a whole eight kgs while i was at it but it is what it is we all cool we all fine now i hardly ever played with peanut or k bear i would just literally be vegging out over the weekend i was like get up eat go back to bed that was just what i did and i was like i can't like i want to do stuff but i cannot i literally cannot i wasn't sure if i wanted to film this update because i feel like baby surprise is gonna watch it someday and probably gonna feel like oh so my mom didn't want me or my parents didn't plan me and i mean i don't want for him or her to feel that way because honestly that is not that is not the case yes i did not want to have another baby but here i am i'm pregnant and i'm almost getting ready to have this baby i'm more than happy to welcome surprise into our lives but it took me a while it was like a process and so i don't want for him or her to watch this video and think i'm not loved or i wasn't wanted or i wasn't planned or anything like that and that's why i was like back and forth with should i film it should i not but i decided to do it anyway because this is my truth and i'm sure someday we're gonna tell him or her about it and be like yeah you were a complete surprise a surprise i'll be welcomed with both arms but yeah that pretty much wraps up my first trimester the symptoms were basically just exhaustion hunger acidic taste in my mouth too much saliva and a hack of a lot of burping which was crazy and gross and i hated it i slept through the whole thing i hope you guys enjoyed watching this random video i hope i'm not making anybody uncomfortable with these videos but honestly this is my truth and i'm trying to get through this pregnancy as best as i can and as honest as i can because i feel like for me this is also my healing process and this is how i'm able to accept the situation and sort of like embrace everything and move on with it and like get super stoked and excited about the whole thing and so i want to document some people like writing stuff down i love writing stuff down i just never have time to write anything down and so sitting here and talking about stuff on video makes me feel seven times better and i hope nobody's feeling uncomfortable but if you are i'm sorry anyway i hope you enjoyed watching this video go ahead and thumbs it up and uh, i will catch you besties on the next video bye besties tonight we're running on the right track